This goes out to anyone who, like me, went to a labor Zionist socialist summer camp as a child. <laughs> <laughs> Here. I was gonna keep it real and fuck the whole cutthroat capitalist game. Move to a commune, plant corn, sow oats, build a new, better world. Yeah, that was the aim. And there were no two ways about my grand utopian plan. I'd say either you're down for changing the world or you're selling your soul for the man. So it's more than a little surreal gap. It's really bizarre. But I'm just another schmuck at the coffee bar. I was a rebel, full of fire, full of facts, always ready to rage against the machine. Fuck you, I won't do what you tell me. I quoted Chomsky. Nowadays I quote online features on wine and Italian cuisine. Northern Italian cuisine. And I was sure as sure could be we would overcome someday. I set up a prize, yeah, somewhere along the way. I put down all the banners of books and acoustic guitar. And I went just another smoke at the coffee bar. This line takes so fucking long. Look at all these zombies, barely half a week. Driven to distraction by a thirst they can never slake. They don't even question. <laughs> they see nothing odd. They just blindly follow the aroma, stumbling in their caffeinated coma. This is my community. Oh my fucking god. Whatever happened to the guy who was gonna go follow his dream and start a kibbutz? And how did I get here? Gritting teeth in a line as I wait for a kid half my age to prepare me a skin extra hot triple hazelnut latte with cinnamon schmutz. <laughs> you know, if I had the chutzpah, I would start some new campaigns. Consumers unite, stand up and fight. You got nothing to lose but your corporate coffee chains. <laughs> You get it? Copy chains? Okay. <laughs> Karl Marx. <laughs> but there's no turning back the clock and I've come too far. And it's not about where you've been, it's about where you are. And where I am is stuck, cynical as fuck. Go!